And welcome in, guys. Today's show, we're talking about CPL post-game, but we're talking about you, the fans, not necessarily the game. And we're talking about talking about you, the fans, in pictures and videos. So the next couple of minutes, you're going to see yourselves. I had a massive time at the game. Some of the people I met at the game, absolute superstars, love every one of you. We're talking about people like Dave Powell, Derek Howard, a lot of other guys. It was just a phenomenal time. Dale Palmer, Tertia, Stewie Wallington, Mark Wisner, lots and lots of people. Johnny Blankstein, Liam Blankstein, loads of people. But anyway, getting on to it, this show, we're talking about you, the fans, with the pictures and the videos. You're going to love it because there's some really great shots we're using new cameras on the scene. And we're also going to talk about four of the people from the game, two coaches, two players. One of the players from Vala is Kian Williams, the goal scorer. We're also going to talk to Philip Dos Santos, post-game, remember, so you're going to see him and what they had to say. And I'm asking the questions. I'm firing the questions at those guys, and they get to say how they feel. Also, we're going to hear from Marco Carducci and Bobby Wilden Jr. also at the same time. So four personalities from the game. You're going to hear them and listen to them and see them in a little while after that. Then we've got some massive news, some real massive news to bring to you. Frank Yallop, the ex-Canada coach, ex-LA Galaxy coach, ex-San Jose Earthquakes coach, now Monterey Bay FC coach, is coming on very soon, and I'm going to be interviewing Frank, not this show, but I'm going to be bringing that to you very soon. Lots of stuff to talk about with Frank, and I've known Frank a long time. You're going to hear a great story, because when you know the inside track on a national coach or on a club coach, or even on a player then you know where to take the interview and you know where to tell the story and how it should be told. So keep listening for that. That's what we got as well. And also, I want to just say one more time, I had a fantastic time at Cavalry FC on the weekend. Okay, guys, that's what we got coming for you. Let's take a look at you from the weekend with pictures and the videos. Nice. Fraser. Anthony, how you doing? Sivabul, Ultimate Soccer YouTube. Ian, talk me through the goal, but how you released the shot, more importantly. You didn't have much time on the ball, right? Yeah. Got it off real quick, and it goes sky high. Yeah. Marco Caducci has no chance. How thrilling is it to get one of those? Yeah, no, it was nice. First, hopefully first of many. Um, but yeah, I just remember the ball dropped. I've tried to bring it down and just hit as hard as I could, really, because I know that with a bouncing ball, the main thing is just getting it on target, so... Second half particularly, you're going in goal down at halftime, you're coming out second half, you're looking for the get the game even, etc. Were you literally <laughs> trying to push through the middle in the second half to find that open space, like tickle that ball through? Yeah. Or was it just per chance? Because I don't think it was per chance at all. Yeah, no. Nah. So in the in the first half there was a, a lot of long balls for them. Like we wanted to play our way, get it down. And uh yeah, it was nice to be in the ten roll, getting the half turns and stuff, and we've got a pace out wide with Yarrod and Pacific, so Finding them and then Novak in behind and stuff as well. So, 
Yeah. Finally, one as an old player to a young player. Did you think you needed some drinks out there? Like at oh. half time, you were really like struggling for the yeah, yeah, towards and the end. Hydration, yeah? yeah, yeah, towards the end, got a little bit of cramp. So, uh, so yeah, yeah it, was, it was a hot day, but you need to get used to it because there's going to be many of them. So, thank you for your time. Recent form has been a bit trying for you. You seem to be turning the corner. Seems to be some real great plays coming through. Today's game, talk me through it. How tough a game was this to get a, just a point out of cavalry here today? We knew we would need to fight. I think that uh, we saw in the first half, it was no surprise that they would come with a lot of energy. Uh, we knew we had to somehow survive and weather the storm and not allow the fans to get in, in the game. And I don't think we, we did that well. So you get the injury of, of Pianelli um, and we need to make uh, a few adjustments in the team, bringing Dante out of that midfield. So it made it challenging for the guys to find their references fast. Um, I think that it was important for us to get through halftime, uh, still with a, still with a being close and still with a chance to to fight for the result. And I think that when we had the chance to adjust a few a few elements um, in 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 halftime or during halftime, we came out a lot a lot better in the second half. And I think that the guys were rewarded for their fight, their their spirit, the mentality in which they approached the game, the the commitment they had to uh, towards each other. But they understand that every point is valuable, right? At the end of uh, of, of the season, you have to make that math. And there's moments where you you know you regret points that you could have won somewhere and you didn't. So these points are important to get. Absolutely. First half seemed to belong to Cavalry. Second half seemed to honestly belong to Valor. What did you say at half time to get such a reaction? No, I felt we were playing a lot in, inside their pressure, um, even a little bit at times in the second half unnecessarily. So when we we made the structural change with uh, with Kian coming closer to Novak, it was important for them to stay close to each other. And um, for me, it was if, if they're taking away all the space that's in front of us uh, through that pressure, we needed to be more pragmatic and look to play a little bit over the press and um, and be very aggressive on second balls. And I think that in the first half, we weren't we didn't uh, fight enough. We were we were a little bit slow getting on those second balls and and reacting to to their movement. So it was good. The guys responded well. Um, I think that they wanted something out of this game. It's been a, it's been a tough week for us to work when you're you have players that are not around and uh, you're trying to to still work the team and it makes it challenging. So it was very important for us to get through this and and still be able to come out of it the way we came out of it and get a point where at the end of the day many teams will lose points here. So so it was important. Thanks for your time, coach. Thank you. I will now open the floor to any questions for Marco. Steve, go ahead. Marco, talk me through the game today. One gets past you, but a pretty decent performance on the whole 90 plus, yeah? Yeah. Um, I think the first thing is we're disappointed to come away with a draw. Um, you know, we start the season off on the road with two games and earn two points there. Um, whereas I feel like we we lost points today. Uh, and I think that's a feeling we have. But, um, you know, credit to, to Valor, they stayed in the game, they challenged us, we weren't able to, to kind of get that footing early in the second half, and obviously they score. Um, but like I said, I, I, we're disappointed that we, we don't get three points. Talk me through the goal. Were you unsighted on that shot? You know, I, honestly, it's kind of a blur. I have, to, I have to watch it back myself. Obviously, there's a lot of bodies in the way. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not claiming anything. Obviously, whether he's offside or not, I don't know. Um, but again, it, it happens fast, right? And you're just trying to get a, get a block or something. Uh, but unfortunately, again, we had to put our hands up regardless of what happened. We uh, had a lapse in concentration that results in them scoring and them, you know, ultimately equalizing and game finishes on the draw. You say you're disappointed with the draw. However, you're still undefeated on the season. So you've got to take that into the next game, being Vancouver FC. How high are your hopes for that game? And it's on the road too. Yeah, well, it'll be an exciting one for sure. Obviously, Vancouver will be having their home opener. Um, so we know they'll be they'll be up for it. Uh, but yeah, I think as much as we are disappointed, there, there's a positivity in that we know we can be better. Um, I think you look at this game and there's moments where we've let ourselves down and not the other way around. And, and that's kind of a, a driving force for us to say we can be better, we can do more. And 
you know, it's back to work. Uh, get, get some rest, heal up, and, and back to work this week. Simple. Yeah, thank you. You can't pull this as a negative. You have to pull it as a positive. I mean, Val is a decent team. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the results you wanted. You may have not passed the ball as crisply as you may have wanted to. Mm -hmm. But again, I draw two. This, for me, is a positive moving forward to take into the Vancouver game. How do you feel? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we, we've got a full a full week of, uh, of training. Um, and I think that's really what we've got to do. And uh, we've just got to keep playing, keep getting the ball out, and just keep developing chemistry. I got to highlight one guy, star of the game for me, Dan Klomp. Mm -hmm. 73 minutes in, mm -hmm. definitely makes a tackle and saves the game because if he doesn't get there, it's 2 1 game over. Uh, listen, a massive, you massive performance again by Dan Klopp. Maya Bevan scored three in three games. He's, he's, he's on, he worked tirelessly. You know, Ali Moussi's had moments of magic. We've had a penalty that we should have had, but surprise, surprise, don't get it. So, you know, you get used to it. So, what we've got to do now is we've got to control our own environment. Finally, Fraser Ed. How are you feeling? Is he carrying anything or is he just getting back into the Just fitness? getting back to it, you know, he, we, we just wanted to get him in and he was, I thought he was smashing today. Him, look at him with a quick throw in, he's, uh, he's put Ali in, bit of magic, cut back, my, uh, terrific. So more of those moments, because when we do them, we're very good. We just got to trust the process. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks. This is Ultimate Soccer with Soccer Steve.